Hello and welcome to this very special show ahead of Barack Obama's visit to India. Many are expecting this to be a historic one, but are expectations running a tad too high? That's the question we're going to debate, including issues of protectionism, FDI in retail, the China factor, global currency war, much more coming up. On the debate with me on the show, former Commerce Minister Kamal Nath, he's also the current High Vice Minister. We've also got Gautam Thapar of Avanta Group, Ron Somers, USIBC, Frank Weisner, former Ambassador to India, and we've also got Thomas Friedman who joins us for the big picture from his, well, I would say his idea on the big picture. We'll start, of course, with you, Mr. Kamal Nath. Will this be a game-changing visit? What do you feel? Well, of course, because uh, visit at the level of the President of the United States adds a new momentum. And uh, the people who come there, they engage with the business community here. So uh, I think it's uh, important and will be a big step forward. From an India Inc. standpoint, what do you feel, Gautam Thapar, that we will be expecting this trip to put out? Mr. President Obama, already first person he greeted in the White House was the Prime Minister of India. It's returning out here within a year and a half of taking over as, as president. So I think it's significant. It's also significant because I think you see a growing uh, engagement uh, between the United States and India on not just uh, business, trade and commerce, but on a host of other issues as well. Having said that, let's get the American side of this story, Gautam. Uh, we've got Ron Somers who's on the show. Ron, for America Incorporated, what is the relevance of this visit? And with Mumbai being the stop number one, is this a signal that business is the new bedrock of relationships uh, that can actually move faster than the political ones? Well, two, two issues that are right in, in the top of the list here, and that is that a rising commercial relationship with India is now leading towards a genuine strategic partnership with the largest free market democracy in the world. And then secondly, a, a robust, strong commercial relationship between the United States and India is now truly becoming a win-win for both societies in terms of job creation, in terms of people-to-people -people contacts, in terms of a general goodwill that's existing between, again, the world's two largest free market democracies. Yes, that's important. We all agree. Tom Friedman, what's your take? What do you think will make up Obama's agenda for this trip to India? Well, I think what's on his agenda is to cement the India-American relationship. You know, Bill Clinton really um, uh, broke the wall down after the uh, nuclear sanctions. George Bush put in some foundation. And now I think Obama would like to build the building by building contacts between America and India at all levels, commercial, agricultural, cultural, and geostrategic. Right. There is Tom uh, talking about building blocks and perhaps Obama could work on the work done by uh, Bush and Clinton. Frank Weisner. As an ambassador, former ambassador, there's this perception, of course, uh, that India continues to sit with that after Presidents George Bush, Bill Clinton, who seemed to do a lot more uh, for Indo-U.S. ties, Obama might have disappointed a tad. Do you get that sense that Obama needs to show India that he is as big a friend as Clinton and Bush have been? Well, I think the president has shown it. <clears throat> he invited Prime Minister Manmohan Singh is his first state visitor to the White House. There has been a huge increase in communications between the two, two governments. The strategic dialogues have been formed and they're really important. Our leaderships are communicating as they never have in the past. No, I don't think it's fair to say that the Obama administration sees India any differently. Tom, a quick reaction on that one, especially since everybody's talking about Obama coming here within two years, and then you've got enough to watch out for the way things have panned out back in the U.S. in the last few days itself. Well, I think it is the fact that his first state dinner was for the Prime Minister of India, um, and he's uh, visiting India in his first term. Uh, Bush and uh, Clinton did not. Um, and I think that he very much appreciates um, what India can do uh, in partnership with America economically, culturally, and, as I say, geostrategically. And we'll discuss all those kind of relationships in a little more detail. But first, let's get down to business. Gautam Thapar, what is the India-US CEO forum keen to see happen during this crucial visit? Yeah, frankly speaking, I think India is very, very open for business, uh, as is the United States. So I think there, there still continue to be uh, minor irritants. I think, uh, you know, whether it's the H-1B visa issue or whether it's this uh, the rhetoric on outsourcing that's going on. Uh, or whether it's uh, the nuclear uh, liability, civil liability bill. I think these things are there. I, for one, don't see 
some of this, uh, you know, getting resolved during this visit because uh, as India has shown uh, continuously that we have a mind of our own uh, when it comes to certain legislation and about the way in which we think this country should move forward. It's an important point. Uh, as Gautam Thapur says, India has a mind of its own. It's got to keep in mind its local issues and then go in with local legislation because eventually it's impacting us. Ron Somers, uh, now obviously America and American steers want to see this market open. It's a huge market and we've proved that even more in the post-crisis situation. Realistically, what business do you see getting done? You're actually bringing most of these CEOs on this visit. Uh, they have a very robust agenda uh, from infrastructure cooperation to developing a green fund, which is going to be essentially a, a venture capital fund to be spurring green technologies. And they want to be working together collaboratively on, on addressing the, the challenges that we all face on diabetes. A number of different areas, economic as well as what I would call transformational. The CEO Forum will be working on those issues. Having said that, Mr. Kamalath, from a government standpoint, real work or a feel-good factor, the Obama visit? Well, there is a people-to-people -people relationship, there's a business-to-business -business relationship, and there's a political relationship. All of them have been very warm, and, but they all must be continuously nurtured. We must look in where business is concerned in new areas uh, of uh, uh, engagement with each other. So, uh, I think this visit is very important from that point of view, that it continues with the momentum which we've had. Had that momentum. Mr. Kamalath, what sectors? I mean, you know, uh, you know, the Commerce Ministry, you were heading it last time uh, during the government's uh, reign, and this time around you're heading highways. Now, what sectors can actually benefit? Can we do some concrete work in that direction? Services. Uh, the services sector, there's a huge opportunity. Uh, there's a, a huge opportunity in engineering goods. There's a huge uh, opportunity in technology sectors. So uh, all these have to be looked at more uh, intensively to be able to find some convergence. It's so interesting you said services and that gives me the cue to ask you about uh, protectionism. My entire panel, I'm going to start with Gautam Thapar. Gautam, here is the view that, you know, services is really where we can collaborate much more. But then we've got protectionism, which actually hangs uh, like a democratic sword this time around for us, a big bone of contention. What's your take on protectionism? I don't know when you spend, when people say protectionism, I, you know, I, I try to understand where, because is it protectionism about uh, outsourcing? Uh, well, you know, if you talk to a lot of the Indian IT companies, they already have substantial businesses in the U.S. and they're growing those, uh, those businesses in the U.S. So uh, there is no uh, federal law on outsourcing. Uh, the president has made his views very clear on, on what he thinks uh, should be. Uh, the position of U.S. companies on outsourcing. Now, you have a, a state government that has uh, enacted a law. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, Ron Thomas, here is Gotham Tower talking about, uh, you know, how the view in the U.S. is pretty clear. What do you think? Do you think that uh, outsourcing will be a subject that will somewhat uh, hijack the entire visit and the concerns until Obama puts out a clear statement on why outsourcing is an issue at the moment between the two countries? Well, again, as the economy is uh, in challenge in the United States, as we are in tentative economic recovery, uh, the rise of sentiments of protectionism are bound to creep in. And I think it's to, up to the business community to really lean forward on this issue. In today's economy, India, uh, the services trade with India is about equal to the services trade the United States has with India. In other words, India is not the, the, the destination of outsourcing as, as some people would describe. It's an even trade balance on the services side, number one. Number two, in this day and age, in a global economy, Adding value 24 hours a day with a knowledge partner like India is enabling our companies to remain globally competitive. You are an industry to be supportive. Let's uh, listen in to Anand Mahindra, who I caught up with and asked him whether he feels these visa costs, issues around outsourcing will have to be left behind for bigger things to happen. Listen in. Everything and no edifice is made without the humblest nail. So we need to, we need to haggle over visa fees. I mean, as, as somebody with a stake in the IT industry, I'm not going to tell you visa fees are not important. They're a, very, they're a very large cost of how you do business. So they're important. And we have to address all of them. The question is, we shouldn't lose the sight of the forest for the trees. And 